Hello guys and gals, and welcome to another episode of Rune Words. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a very um, elemental rune word uh, known as Famine. Uh, famine is the rune's foul ohm ort jaw. Uh, famine is a uh, an interesting one that can be made in axes or hammers. Um, and keep in mind that hammers is not maces. Um, hammers is hammers. If you need a, a clarification on that, uh, you're going to have to look it up because it's kind of a complicated subject. Um, maces and hammers and mauls and every all that, and even scepters, um, are all like different categories. So uh, without further ado, let's jump into the item, shall we? So we have a, um, a relatively high-level item at level 65, of course, because it has a relatively high rune in it. Uh, the highest rune in the rune word is what determines the rune le the rune word level. Uh, we have a 30% um, increased attack speed, which is definitely going to be very nice on a melee weapon. Um, it's always nice to have increased attack speed when you're dealing with any kind of weapon for a, uh, a melee character. Uh, we also have a 356% enhanced defense uh, damage, which does uh, vary between 320 to 370%. Um, so not a huge variable there of, uh, what is that, 5, 6, 7, so 50%. Uh, but it would be nice to get the uh, 370 if you were going to make this rune word. Especially for the uh, Ohm and the Jaw rune, which you have to spend to make it uh, relatively expensive. We also have ITD on here, which of course comes from the Jaw rune. And, uh, and ignores target's defense is very nice. It means that uh, attack rating will not be an issue for the majority of the monsters in the game. Um, however, do keep in mind that an ignores target's defense does not work on bosses. And um, it also does not take into account level difference. So if you are going up against a monster who is much higher level than you, um, it will cause an issue as far as your attack, your, your hit percentage. Uh, we also have some very nice uh, effects as far as elemental damage is concerned. We have 180 to 200 magic damage, which is absolutely great because most monsters have no magic resistance, uh, which puts this magic damage above all the rest of the elemental damage on the, the uh, tree. I usually like to say this uh, in this way. Uh, magic damage is kind of two to three times more effective than other elemental damage. We also have uh, 50 to 200 fire damage, 51 to 250 lightning damage, and 50 to 200 cold damage, which is pretty massive. Uh, we have 12% life stolen per hit, which is a massive amount of life steal, considering the weapon has pretty nice damage. Uh, we also have prevent monster heal, which is absolutely great to prevent the monsters from regenerating. Uh, however, it does not work on bosses, and uh, you got to keep that in mind. Uh, sorry, it does not work on ubers, my bad. Uh, Ubers, Uber Diablo, Uber Bale, uh, Uber Mephisto. I believe it also does not work on Uber Duriel, uh, Lilith, and Uber Iswal, if I remember correctly. So um, this particular item uh, ha also has plus 10 strength on it, uh, which can be very helpful to utilize uh, high armor equipment or high um, strength, you know, high strength equipment like uh, armor, helmets, uh, sometimes even boots and gloves, depending on what kind of character you are. Um, honestly, it's a very interesting weapon. It really comes down to the elemental damage. Um, there is a sort of an analog to this, which is Gimmer Shred. Uh, Gimmer Shred is a very effective uh, throwing item, which also has massive amounts of elemental damage on it as well. Now, the elemental damage on Gimmer Shred is a little higher um, than this. However, I do not believe Gimmer, Sh Gimmer Shred has magic damage. Uh, it does not. So Gimmer Shred has fire, lightning, and cold, but no magic. And the magic damage is really kind of the clincher here because that 180 to 200 magic damage is actually a lot more powerful than a lot of the um, fire, lightning, and cold damage. And, uh, and we also have fire, lightning, and cold damage, which in my opinion makes this better than Gimmer Shred as far as the elemental damage is concerned. Uh, and this is mainly just simply because most monsters generally have around 20 to 50% resistance to pretty much any element, which means that you have to cut the Gimmer Shred's elemental damage in half before you even think about how much it's worth, unless you happen to be like a Conviction Paladin or something. Um, but um, the magic damage doesn't have the same issue. So the magic damage is being applied in its full effect, whereas the elements are being cut. Uh, so it could be a very close race if you actually kind of like worked out the numbers versus uh, Gimmer Shred versus Famine. I mean, both Gimmer Shred and Famine are can be made in axes or are, are axes. Um, they gain for axe mastery. Uh, both Gimmer Shred and Famine both have 30% increased attack speed. Both Gimmer Shred and Famine both have um, 
elemental damage. Um, the only real difference here is that, of course, uh, Gimmer Shred is a throwing item and cannot be socketed, uh, whereas Famine does have ITD and Prevent Monster Heal, which is not present on Gimmer Shred. Uh, it's really interesting to consider the two, though, uh, because if you were considering using Famine, Gimmer Shred could very easily be your uh, sort of stop-back cap measure until then. Uh, especially since Gimmer Shred is much easier to come by than Famine. Obviously, with the Ohm and the Jaw Rune in there, this is not exactly a cheap recipe. Um, who could potentially utilize this item um, and to what effect? Well, it's very interesting as a uh, physical damage, sorry, physical immunity monster killer. I feel like it has a very nice place in a uh, maybe a barbarian's offhand or a uh, swap, a weapon swap, specifically to allow the barbarian or um, maybe even a paladin uh, the ability to kill a physical immune monster. Um, there's also the possibility of using this on a character that doesn't necessarily normally attack monsters. So like, uh, for instance, maybe an Enchant Sorceress. Now, an Enchant Sorceress has the ability to multiply these damage. So the Fire Damage would get multiplied by her Fire Mastery. The Lightning Damage would get multiplied by her Lightning Mastery. And the Cold Damage would get enhanced by the negative Cold Resistance, uh, which would make the Cold Damage do more than it would normally. And the downside of this weapon is it doesn't have any special attack. There are other items in the game, like Passion, that have zeal or beast that have uh, the ability to turn you into a bear um, you know there's a lot of different things that you could be utilizing as some sort of like maybe like a dragon sorceress or something like that or maybe even a dream sorceress um, this could be an interesting weapon on a dream sorceress um, but the issue is it doesn't really give you any skill to use there's no zeal no anything you would just pretty much just be attacking with a, a base attack um, these, of course, could be dual-wielded. You could uh, utilize two of them. But the elemental damage does not stack between two of these because it is on the weapon. It's important to note that the weapon, when you have elemental damage on the weapon, the weapon does not give that elemental damage to the other weapons. So um, if I put on, for instance, this phase blade right here, you'll notice that the phase blade it only has 241 to 303. Um, very, very low. And if I take the weapon off, you'll notice that it still pretty much stays the same. Um, and the reason is because the elemental damage is not being shared. Mr. Nini is fighting me today so much. You see him on my head? Look at him, just sitting on my head. I can't do anything. I'm constantly having to pause the stream because he wants to jump down. He wants to be a bad, bad, bad boy. Mr. Nemo is being such a bad boy today, I cannot even tell you. I just wanted to have him on my streams. I wanted to have him play with me. I wanted to have him sit with me. And he normally does. He normally sits with me all the time. But no, not today. Mr. Nene wants to jump on the ground every five seconds. He wants to jump over there and mess up my Transformers today every five seconds. He wants to pee on me and, uh, and do everything else that he's not supposed to do today. And I wanted to tell you guys that he's being a very bad boy. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's finish this video up, shall we? Um, who could potentially utilize this famine weapon? Um, who? The answer to the question is, it's mainly going to be good for a character who specifically wants to have an alternative to uh, taking on a, uh, a physical immune monster. Um, it does have rather nice physical damage, and it has rather nice elemental damage, and it kind of functions similarly to the way a Vengeance Paladin works. If you've never played a Vengeance Paladin, a Vengeance Paladin is a paladin that has pretty much all elements of damage. Uh, they don't have magic, but they do have fire, they have lightning, they have cold, and they also have conviction, which reduces all the resistances of the monsters nearby. And it essentially makes it so that you can kill listen, any monster that you come across. And that's kind of what this item is sort of pointed toward. Because it has magic damage, physical damage, fire damage, lightning damage, and cold damage, it has five different elements of damage. Um, the only damage type that it's missing is poison. It also kills the monster's regeneration um, as the monster is, uh, you know, prevent monster heal. So 20 minutes of no regeneration on the monster uh, combined with the ITD make for a very interesting weapon that could potentially be useful on a wide array of characters. Um, you could even use this on a freaking necromancer if you really wanted to. Um, but I feel like it would really shine specifically on characters who um, need another source of damage. Um, a Zeal Paladin, a Frenzy Barbarian, um, even an Enchant Sorceress all could get relatively good use out of this item. And uh, and quite honestly, um, I don't really know if I would make this specifically for a character, though. Um, there are better items that I could potentially be using that Jaw Rune for. However, 
Um, you could be utilizing um, one of these at, in an offhand, like an off-weapon slot for a Zeal Paladin so that you had a way to kill physical immunes. Um, you could be utilizing this for a, uh, a, f a Frenzy Barbarian um, so that the Frenzy Barbarian could get rather nice um, elemental damage um, on his Frenzy attacks. Um, you could also be utilizing this on an Enchant Sorceress, and you could even possibly use this on a, um, a Blade Fury Assassin. Um, the elemental damage will translate through the Blade Fury, uh, which could be interesting, but I would rather be using a um, a much higher damage item. However, the ITD is rather attractive, considering Blade Fury has a lot of issues with attack rating, so it could be a very interesting Blade Fury weapon indeed. Um, all in all, I'm not super impressed with Famine. I feel like it's very expensive for not enough elemental damage. Uh, I feel like if they bumped up the fire damage to 400, bumped up the lightning damage to 500, bumped up the cold damage to 400, um, we would see a lot more use of this particular item. Uh, but because the elemental damage just really isn't quite high enough, it doesn't quite fulfill the purpose that it was originally intended for. Also, because Prevent Monster Heal doesn't work on Ubers, uh, it will find itself as sort of tossed to the side in those situations. Uh, it would be nice if maybe they added some open wounds to this particular item. I feel like that could uh, could make it more viable. Um, all in all, I mean, it's a nice weapon. And, and if it didn't cost a jaw rune, I would say that more people would probably be making this on a regular basis. Uh, but because it costs a jaw rune, and because jaw runes are used for so many other recipes, like, uh, like dream helmets and dream shields, or, you know, you've got... Um, uh, Last Wish, and, and you've got uh, Enigma and things like that, all of which are going to need, um, you know, your jaw runes. Um, a lot of people are not going to look at Famine and be like, oh, well, that's the first thing I want to spend my jaw on, uh, because it, it really isn't. Um, I do feel like that uh, if they took the jaw rune out of this recipe and put something else in there, something a lot lower, um, this could be a much, in a very interesting item that a lot of people would utilize. But as it is right now, I do feel like it just doesn't really have a place um, in most people's uh, repertoire because it's just too expensive for not enough benefit. And um, I think that's that's pretty much all we can say about this root word. I mean, uh, I'm just I'm just a spitballing off the top of my head. Um, Blade Fury Assassin could get decent use out of this. Maybe a kicks in. A kicks in could possibly get good use out of this weapon. And, um, I don't know, maybe a Sacrifice Paladin? Because you're specifically building a character that's all, that's based specifically around, uh, physical damage. Um, Zeal Paladin, perhaps. Frenzy Barbarian. I mean, it, honestly, it just doesn't really, it's just not really a good weapon. I'm going to be honest with you, it's not the greatest weapon. Um, I, I feel like I would, uh, instead of spending a jaw on this, I would just use a, a, a Gimmer Shred and just move on with my day. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos. And uh, keep watching.